what's going on people so for today's video i'm going to be showing you all that you don't need a gym to get fit now i know a lot of people are experiencing another round of lockdowns and their gyms are closing or they don't feel safe going to the gyms right now so i'm going to show you some things that you can do from the comforts of your home or outdoors in order to get fit and stay fit so first and foremost something that i did before shooting this video is walking so you can either walk or jog but so far today i've walked interesting story i walked to this place to record a video which is about two and a half miles from my house and my battery for my camera was at home so i had to walk back so that's another two and a half miles so that's five miles walking just coming here going back to get my battery for my camera then i walked back so i'm already at seven and a half miles walking today so far so walking is a great way to lose weight but if you're someone who wants something a little bit faster pace then you can do jogging outside so that's going to be first and foremost all right next up something you all can do is going to be jumping jacks or seal jacks now this is going to be great for getting some cardio in and stay to the end of the video because I'll tell you all how to pair these exercises up so you can turn it into a full workout and you can perform it three to five times a week in order to stay fit and still make progress without the gym. So for jumping jacks, I'll perform 10 right now just in case you all do not know how to perform them. So okay, we have beginners on the channel. So for a jumping jack, Go 10 right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that's jumping jacks. And then for the seal jacks, we're just going to have our arms horizontal for this. So a seal jack, I'll perform 10 of those for you all. All right, that's jumping jacks or seal jacks that you can perform. All right, next up, we have an exercise that I love and hate at the same time. This is probably one of the best movements that you can do if you do not have access to a gym, and it's going to be the burpee. So for the burpee, you can do it either without the push-up or with the push-up, just depending on your level. I'll demonstrate both for you right now. So first up, we'll do the burpee without the push-up. Let me just turn to the side here. All right, so burpee without the push-up. Start up here, down, jump. Right, that's the burpee without the push up. Now, with the push up, same movement, but when we go down to the bottom, we hit a push up before coming back up. So, let me demonstrate that for you all. All right. So that is going to be two different types of burpees you can do without the push-up or with the push-up. All right, the next exercise we have on today's menu that you all can perform if you don't have gym access is going to be the mountain climber. So let me show you all how to perform that and you can start incorporating this into your routine. All right, mountain climbers. Start here and here. All right, that's the mountain climber. It's another great exercise to get some great cardio in. And you want to keep it intense, but at the same time, keep that core tight. 
and you want to make sure that form is good and you know you aren't looking like you're humping the ground or anything like that so that's mountain climbers and speaking of core that's going to help us transition into the next exercise which is going to be either a plank or a side to side plank so with the plank everybody probably knows how to do a plank but I'm still going to demonstrate it because I don't want anyone to be left out. I want everybody to give this routine a try. So with the plank, and you should probably have a mat if you're doing it on concrete. I'm a little bit of a rebel at times, so I left my mat at home, but I'm good. My skin can handle it. All right, so I'll show you all the plank. Just get down. Then keep that core tight the whole time. All right, so that's the regular plank. And then for a side to side plank, which is gonna target your obliques more, you still wanna keep your core tight on this exercise, but you're literally gonna be turning side to side and letting your hip tap the ground on each side. So let me demonstrate that for you all. Right. So we down and then hip touch, hip touch, hip touch, hip touch. All right, so you do that repeatedly for the side to side plank. All right, for the next exercise, I'm gonna take you all back to gym class. We got high knees. Gonna make sure those knees are hitting your hands. Don't have your hands down here. You now keep your hands about right here. And then we're just gonna do high knees. Great cardio as well. So. High knees, great cardio. Like I said, gonna take you all back to gym class with that. All right, next up one of the most underrated forms of cardio in my opinion is going to be shadow boxing and what shadow boxing is you get in your fighter stance whether it's orthodox or southpaw and then you just literally shadow box imagine yourself having an opponent so you got head movement you're slipping and you're throwing punches and then you're constantly moving you're not standing still so you're not in one place just punching. No, you're moving around. Jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook. You know, you wanna get that movement. That's a drill that professional boxers do. So trust me, shadow boxing does work, but it is very important that you keep moving. And if you've never boxed before, your form is not going to be perfect but that is okay. It will improve over time as you get used to performing shadow boxing. All right, and you all know I couldn't do a video without mentioning push-ups. So that's the next exercise. And you can literally do any variation you want. I'll demonstrate the standard push-up and the diamond push-up for you all. So you can see those, but you can do pike push-ups, wide push-ups, Decline push-ups if you have something to put your feet on. Any type of push-up, Spider-Man push-ups, it doesn't matter. All of them are going to be good. So standard push-up, I'll demonstrate that now. All right, that's the standard push-up. So now I'm gonna do the diamond push-up where I'm gonna just form a diamond. And the diamond push-up is great to target both your chest and your triceps. All right, so that's push-ups can do any variation you want but definitely add that into the mix all right next up we have a back movement 
So it's going to be Superman's. And this exercise is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to be flying like Superman. Not literally though. So I'm going to lay on the ground. I'll do a couple for you all. Because uh, I think the concrete felt disrespected. And I said my skin can handle it. But I'm already starting to like callous up some. So if you're going to be on concrete, <laughs> bring a mat. Especially if you live somewhere where it is very warm in November like Florida it's 80 degrees here right now so let me demonstrate the Superman great movement for the back I think this is far enough like I said you like Superman fly All right, so that is the Superman. All right, and the last exercise, but certainly not the least, is going to be the jump squat. So it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a squat and you're jumping. So let's step back and demonstrate that. Squat. All right, that is the jump squat. Make sure you get some elevation on your jump. Now for how to put this all together for a workout. So first up we had the jogging or walking. That could be its own separate thing you do before your workout. It doesn't have to be hours or anything like that. You could do 20 to 30 minutes. And then when you wanna do your workout, so I'll list these exercises out in the description. Use all of these exercises and do a circuit type of workout. Perform each exercise for 30 seconds and then rest 30 seconds and then move on to the next exercise. And then do this for however many rounds you would like. But I would say start off with a minimum of four rounds. And trust me, this will be a great full body workout that you can do to get fit and stay fit without going to the gym. Now for me personally, full transparency, my gym is not closed. So I still go to the gym to work out and I do Muay Thai now. So I'm still going to the gym, but there may be a point in time where my gym closes. So I'm just preparing myself like I did earlier in the year. So I hope you all found this video helpful. Please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Also share this video with all of your friends because I know a lot of people being affected by their gyms closing and I don't want them to go into the new year feeling some type of way and feeling out of shape. So let's keep it going. Let's keep the momentum going. I appreciate the continued support. Catch you on the next video. Peace.